everyone, and welcome to Showtime Saturdays at the Galleria on behalf of Slappy and Monday's Puppet Playhouse. My name is Darren, and today I'm going to juggle, but I'm going to juggle from a pretty cool place. If you saw my last video, you know that I live in Africa, in Kenya, on the edge of the Nairobi National Park. And here, not only is there juggling to see, there's all kinds of animals. And I'm going to show you many, many of my animal friends today while I do a whole bunch of fun juggling for you. There's going to be baboons and Sykes monkeys, there's even a vulture, there's bush babies, and you might even see a wild hyrax. Let's see, I'm gonna stop juggling and take the camera behind here and see if we can find the closest living relative to the elephant. That's a hyrax. They have little tiny little tusks. And he's looking at us. There he is. Let's see how close we can get before we get scared away. He's not quite sure about you. Anyway, there's a whole bunch of great animals to see today on Showtime Saturdays. So stick around. Now, this is my front door. I'm looking out the front door. I can actually see all these baboons. Look, that's a big, big, big man. There's babies all around. They're always looking for mischief. They climb on things, they break things. Look at that guy. Now, if you look really closely, here in a second, you're going to see a mama with her baby. They always keep the babies really close. Look at that. Hey, everybody. Lunch time. Time to get lunch. You wouldn't believe what's about to happen next. It's the elephants. Here they come. Just about five miles away from my house, there's an elephant orphanage. At the elephant orphanage, oh, look, you can see a warthog right there. At the elephant orphanage, they find baby elephants who've been abandoned, or maybe their parents have been lost. And they take them, and they take care of them until they're big enough and strong enough to take them out into the wild. Yep, this is right by my house. Aren't I lucky to live in Africa? I went for a walk along the big long bridge and you know what I found? I found zebra and if you look carefully there's also a really cool warthog. So sometimes people ask me, Darren, is a zebra white with black stripes or is it black with white stripes? Well one day I saw a baby zebra and you know what? A baby zebra was white with brown stripes and slowly the brown stripes turn black. So I guess that's it. They're white with black stripes. You know what it's time for now? It's time to brush the sleeping pig. You wouldn't believe it. A peacock came up to my door. All right, time to put on the mask. Get on the motorcycle yeah. and go see the next animal. Are you ready, Steve? Yes. <laughs> Steve's not the animal. Come on, let's get on the motorcycle. <laughs> Come on, Steve, let's go. Now, next you're gonna see an Egyptian vulture. Have you ever scratched the neck of an Egyptian vulture? I'll bet you haven't, but I have, and I'm gonna show you on the next part of the video. Stay tuned.
and back to the sleeping pig. And now, <laughs> a giraffe. <laughs> sleeping pig still needs some brushing. Now, if you remember from our last video, a few months ago on Showtime Saturdays, I lived with a baby Hyrax. One day, the Hyrax was in the house and found a hedgehog that came into the house. She was really curious. She touched the hedgehog, and the hedgehog didn't like it very much. She sniffed the hedgehog, and the hedgehog didn't like that very much. So I was really careful, and I moved the baby Hyrax away from the hedgehog, and I picked up the hedgehog. Got a cute little face. I picked it up and put it inside of a cloth. Ah, oh, look at that little guy. So, I was getting ready to take it outside, and the little Hyrax got very excited. Boing, 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 hooray! Now I see that hedgehog from time to time outside, living its life A-OK -okay in the wild. Now you're going to have to see a camel, or two. Okay, <laughs> now you wouldn't believe it. There's actually going to be a donkey, and I think he talks. My name's Carl Frankfurter. Well, I'm not in charge of making up names. My mom gave me that name. Do you have a question for me? I was married to a widow who was pretty as can be. Widow had a grown-up daughter who had hair of red. My father fell in love with her and soon they two were wed. I made my dad my son-in-law and changed my very life. Daughter who had hair of red. My father fell in love with her and soon they two were wed. I made my dad my son-in-law and changed my very life for my... More try here. Many, many years ago, when I was 23, I was married to a widow, pretty as can be. The widow had a grown-up daughter who would hair a bird. My father fell in love with her and I haven't chuckled in so long. Many, many years ago, when I was 23, I was married to a widow who was pretty as can be. The widow had a I gotta get a monkey. Newman! Monkey, monkey, monkey! Newman! Mambo! Have you seen, have you seen Newman? No. A monkey? No. No? Alright. What 
Joe had a grown up daughter who had Harold Red. My father fell in love with her and soon they tore away. I made my dad my son in law and came up with her life when my daughter was my. Come on, get it. No, 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 no. Come on, no, gosh darn it, no. Just drop it, drop it. Here we go. <clears throat> many, many years ago when I was 23, I was married to a widow who was pretty as can be. The widow had a grown up daughter who had hair of red. My father fell in love with her and soon they two were wed. I made for if he was my uncle, then that also made him brother of the widow's grown-up daughter, who of course is my grandmother. My father's wife had a son who kept him on the run, and even though he was my grandchild, he was my daughter's son. <sighs> can, I, can I sit here next to your tail? All right, you're going to have to sit on my shoulder while I'm actually juggling. Let's recap. I'm going to put on the suit, and then I'm going to start to do the three ball juggle. Just as I begin the poem, you have to jump on my shoulders, okay? Now you immediately take one, that's perfect. When I get to the end, I'll say, I'm my own grandpa. That's when you take as many as you want and you can finish, okay? That's the plan. Now we have to discuss payment. I'm going to take I'm only going to take 95%, but you get 5%. Yeah, five. That's, that's a lot. And I can pay you in, um, I could I can, I, I can pay you in tomatoes. That's actually a possibility. Now just wait. You could... Let me see if this will work. My name is Daring Collins and welcome to the Comedy Circus Virtual Variety Show. I'm going to do a simple three ball juggling routine while telling you one of my favorite poems. Here we go. <clears throat> many, many years ago when I was 23, I was married to a widow who was pretty as can be. The widow had a grown up daughter who had hair of red. My father fell in love with her and soon they two were wed. That made my dad my son-in-law and changed my very life for my daughter was my mother for she was my father's wife. To complicate the matter even though 